Greetings. I am the Trope Master, Master of Tropes, and this is Trope Talk. It is here that you will witness the glories of tropes made into masterful stories, and the horrors unleashed by fools who use them poorly. We shall start with the rule of cool. You see it in the trailers. You see it in any film with fire and mayhem. You see it wherever awesome may strike. The rule states that the amount you suspend your disbelief is the same as the amount of awesome in the story. For example, lightsabers! Some of the more foolish denizens of the internet try to explain them. They use their math and their physics, but it matters not. When you watch Star Wars, you do not care how it works. You just want this wondrous weapon of awesome to be used. You can even forgive how terrible a story is if it is awesome enough. Things like The Matrix or Inception have obvious failings. But even if you realize it, the insidious rule steps in and forces you to praise the awesome. And some, like the abominable Transformers franchise, they try to be awesome alone without any concern for story or characters. The rule is abused this way. It can even apply to characters. Think of Chuck Norris. I heard another rumor that you were bitten by a king cobra. Yeah, I was. But after five days of agonizing pain, the cobra died. Who cares about this man's personal troubles or how unrealistic his murder spree was? He is Chuck Norris. He roundhouse kicks bears and makes them explode. Yes, this rule can work wonders. It is a simple thing to get attention if you can fill something with enough awesome. So how is this used masterfully? First, understand there are many kinds of awesome. There is epicness, that which is used by Lord of the Rings. The awesome of the grand, big, and powerful. There is the awesome of the genius. The Sherlock Holmes who can control a fight with naught but his mind. There is the mundane made awesome, where even food fights are a contest of incredible power, and card games are serious business. Then, my personal favorite, awesome of insanity. The Jack Sparrows of the world, those crazy enough that they can break reality with naught but their will, and it is awesome! <laughs> yes, there are many kinds of awesome. If you are to use them, you must remember that and make sure that you have some variety and know that awesomeness is volatile, even to you, should you choose to use it. Some things cannot follow the rule, for awesome is not their purpose. Take Disney films, like Snow White or Frozen. Perhaps they could be made awesome, but if you did that, they would be garbage, and less than garbage. The emotions and messages would be lost forever. The fool who did this would be deserving of eternal punishment. In addition, try too hard to mix awesome with things that are terribly lame, and it will blow up in your face. The tone of your story will be irrevocably damaged, becoming another horror to be put down. Now, remember that there are many kinds? Some fools forget that. If you know Harry Potter, then you know it is not meant to be epic. What people like about it is not the same as what they like about Lord of the Rings. To try to cast one in the style of the other is just wrong. And the most egregious violation of this 
is movie trailers. They cast everything into the light of epic, creating horrors beyond redemption. Look what they've done to a wrinkle in time. <sighs> and to finish off the list of failures, foolishly using it too much becomes monotonous. It is thus no longer awesome. No matter how many fools purchase tickets, the... Transformer movies suffer from this. Robot noises, American flags, and explosions. There are far too many of them. And so no one cares if the heroes live or die. Kill them, I say. Kill them all. Perhaps then we will be done with the horrors of the fool Michael Bay. For he does not remember that monotony is the enemy when it comes to the rule of cool. You would do well to remember that. Also remember what I said before, that it does not just apply to plot. It applies to setting, like the Matrix, to characters, like Chuck Norris, to devices, like a lightsaber, and also events, like this glorious technical genius in The Last Jedi, or this glorious sacrifice to our Dark Lord in Rogue One! If you can set it up in advance with things that are not awesome by themselves and have it all come together, then you will have created a most masterful story. Thus endeth the lesson. If you make a request of me to speak of another trope or something that you've seen repeated in many films, I will do my best to honor that request. Leave your requests in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell button that you may witness the further glories and horrors of tropes and become a master like me. Next month, we shall cover Bathos. I shall see you then.